Water treatment company Ronser Biotech Sandrian Brahat has teamed up with DLT Institute in Kuching, Sarawak to incorporate a new method of reducing ammonia and nitrate levels in fish farms. The new innovation, known as the Mass Biosystem or MBS for short, comes in the form of biological pellets carrying bacteria that is responsible for eliminating ammonia via nitrifying process. Under the joint venture with DLT Institute, the two parties will embark on a pilot project to use MBS in breeding one of Malaysia's most valuable fishes, the Empurao. According to Ronsa's chairman, Wu Min Fong, MBS can be easily installed or added onto existing water treatment systems. The uh, uh, bundle of the uh, MBS is just put inside a net, it hangs over the system, the water goes through that and go through the bundle, the water come out from there will be clean. Currently at its developmental stage, MBS is manufactured in China while the raw material is sourced from Japan. Though Ronsa has not revealed the price of MBS, its Japanese supplier has committed to selling its raw material at cost price in order to attract more users. In a fish pond, ammonia is produced by fish waste, decaying dead fishes and even uneaten feed. If ammonia level runs too high in the water, it will affect the fish's ability to acquire oxygen. Therefore, Ronser's MBS treatment method is a promising innovation to bring higher yield to fish farmers. Besides producing healthier fishes, breeders can also benefit from reduced frequency of changing filters, saving from lesser water consumption and maintenance costs. With proper care, MBS pellets can last more than five years. Ronser says that apart from marine aquaculture, the technology is applicable to industry with high ammonia concentration in its wastewater, for example, sewage treatment, pig farms, brewery and fertilizer factories. Business development advisor Chua Peng Lin said the company has also obtained the approval of the National Water Services Commission, or SPAN, to set up a pilot plan for sewage treatment. We have got approval from SPAN to set up the pilot plan and IWK will monitor our results. So after three months, then we apply for SPAN approval. But these plants have been operating in China already and they have achieved the declared results. Going forward, the company plans to set up production factories in Malaysia to manufacture MBS. Jacqueline Peng, DHTV.